Hello, and welcome to Sean's Test Bench. I want to start this video off by apologizing to my subscribers. I've been trying to upload videos. It's uh, Life definitely gets in the way of making these videos. So I want to thank my subscribers for sticking around, even though it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I'm going to continue making these videos. Uh, life does get in the way, but this is what I enjoy doing. This is my hobby. Okay, so this is the, the Ryzen build. This is my first Ryzen build, which I'm kind of excited about. I had a hard time getting all these parts. That's what was taking quite a while in getting this video up. The heat sink alone, we, or me and the customer ordered at least three times trying to get this sp specific heat sink. I even ended up ordering additional heat sinks just to try to maybe get this, this build going because the one that I purchased just wasn't getting, wasn't getting here from China. It finally did come. This is a PC cooler that I wanted for this build. And uh, most of the design for this build was based around that and the fans that come with it. Uh, picked up the matching fans for this cooler, but I believe the customer would rather have these ones. So he picked these ones out. So we're going to see what they look like and decide. And I'll correspond with the customer and decide what is the best for this build. Let's go over the hardware that's going to be used in this build and then we'll go then we'll open up the case and I'll show you what modifications are going to be done to this case and you know I, I just can't purchase uh, hardware and assemble a computer without modifying it in some way so let's go over that now The case I chose for this build is the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300. This is a new line from uh, Cooler Master. I chose this case because it was all open in the inside, no, no hard drive cages, uh, just like a blank slate to work with. So that's why I chose this case. The motherboard I chose for this build is the MSI B350M Pro VH Plus. I chose this board because I really like MSI products. Um, mostly every computer I build is an MSI board. I've always had a good good luck with them. So this is the one I picked out for this build. It supports the new uh, Ryzen APUs. The processor I chose for this build, the customer does not require a graphics card. He's not really into gaming. Uh, it's just a multitasking computer. So I chose the Ryzen 5 2400, uh, the new APU. I figured I'd give him enough power and graphics power to watch videos or do anything he's doing. But he doesn't really require a graphics card, so that one didn't get included in this build. The memory I chose for this build is G Skills 2400. There's 16 gigabytes of it. This was on the vendor's list. It was guaranteed compatibility with this board and processor, so. That kind of is why I chose this memory over any other memory. I didn't want to have any problems with uh, building this computer and having compatibility issues with the memory. For storage, I chose the Patriot Burst 120 gigabyte SSD. This will be for the operating system and programs. The storage is a two terabyte Western Digital uh, enterprise grade hard drive. And that'll be for the storage on this computer. For the power supply, I wanted reliability. I chose a Corsair, their new VS series. It's a 500 watt, it'd be plenty for this build. It'll be plenty of even to add a card if he wants to add a card later on down the road. One of the only requests from this customer was that he wanted two DVD drives in his computer. Uh, he picked these out. They're uh, Asus M drives. They're two identical brand new drives and they'll be going into this build. The heat sink I chose for this build, which I had a very hard time getting shipped to the United States. Uh, I was ordered over three times just to get it here. It's a PC cooler U-4D, and this is what I chose. This will keep the Ryzen processor very cool and look really good doing it. You have the Halo fans on them. I also chose the Halo fans that match the CPU cooler. These are identical fans that are on the cooler other than these are three pin case fans and the cooler has the four pin uh, CPU fan. 
The customer also purchased four of these ring fans. They're also Halo. Uh, we're going to see which ones look the best and go back and forth and decide which ones are going to be used in the case. I ordered some blue vinyl, and this is for my vinyl cutter plotter. I'd be cutting decals out. I chose the darker blue. So often we use the light blues in these builds, and then just it's, I think the darker blue would look better in this, this one here, but we'll see. I might, uh, I still have some light blue vinyl from the last builds, from the MSI builds. We'll see which ones look the best and cut out some decals for this build. There's also uh, four SATA cables, two for the hard, uh, DVD drives and two for the hard drives. Okay, now we went over the hardware. Let's open this case up and uh, take a look at what I have to do to modify this case. There you go. There are videos on this case. There's unboxing videos. I really don't do unboxing videos. Uh, there is a lot of them online already because this has been out for a few months now, or actually since Christmas, I believe. So check out this case. It's uh, it's a really good case if you're just if you're modifying computers because when I, once I take this glass up, I'll show you. It's just completely open inside. There's uh, not much restrictions on what, how you want to lay stuff out and uh, and modify this case. There's no hard drive cages. There's no uh, DVD drive cages. So it kind of makes it nice. It makes it a blank slate to work with, and that's what I really really like about this case. Okay, let's get this front cover off. It's a smoked glass cover. I believe I would be replacing that with clear. I really want to see the inside of this case with the even when it's powered off. So I'm probably going to replace that smoked glass with clear, and I'll just leave that in the box for the customer if he ever wants to use it. He can. Okay, as I was saying before, it's just entirely open in here. It really makes a good case to modify. The customer wants two DVD drives. I believe I'm going to put them down here in the bottom. I'm going to stack them on top of each other. I'm going to do a cutout in the front, and it will be about the same height as the power supply. So it'll be like having a power supply shield in there, and I'll, I'll trim it out nice, and we'll do some decal work, and we'll make it look good. Other than that, there's not going to be a whole lot of modifying to this case. As you can see, it came damaged. The screen came damaged. I will be replacing these with black. Uh, I really don't care for the design that much. Uh, I'm going to be replacing these with black. Uh, the bottom here, like I said, will be cut out for the two DVD drives. It'll get two of the halo lights, uh, the halo lighted fans in the front. One in the rear will take the place of the factory one. And I believe that's it. Okay, so that's the case. And uh, that's what I'm going to modify on it. Mainly just getting two DVD drives up in the front here and down on the bottom. It'll have to be raised because of the spacing, these uh, 45 degree angles on the corners. So it'll be elevated to where I could just cut in, keep them as low as possible, but cut them in and stack them right on top of one another. So that'll be in another video. I will be uh, recording clips of me modifying the case for you guys. And stay tuned for that video. Thank you for watching Sean's Test Bench.